We spent money on school. We spent money on training. We spent money on diving. So what's next? Rent or own? Well, today, let's look at renting. Okay, people, here's the deal. My name is Chris. This is Just Keep Scuba Diving on a Budget, where I try to help you scuba dive and enjoy the trip at the same time financially. We don't want you guys being broke from scuba diving. Been there, done that. Why would you rent gear? Well, there's actually some very good practical reasons for renting gear. One, you don't have a place to keep your own. Two, you're new to the industry, you know, you're new to the recreational diving, and you just, you blew all your money on training. I did. So, or maybe you travel a lot, and you just don't want to lug all that crap around. I know, I just call it scuba diving equipment crap. My guy, sorry, and here we go. But anyway, that, that some major reasons why. So when you rent gear, Here's what you want to look for. One, you want to make sure the make sure the gear is maintained. To do that, you want to put it on a tank. When you get on the boat, you want to put it on the tank. You want to listen for leaks. You want to practice your breaths on it. You want to take a good couple of breaths, not just and then be done with it. That's not that's not how you practice. When you breathe, you want to listen to make sure everything's working correctly. Or maybe you don't hear a whistle whenever a brow whenever you breathe in. You know, like. You don't want to hear that. That's not good. Um, you also want to look at the, the BCD and make sure that it is together. Now, people, when you do rental gear, this stuff gets rented out every single day. Okay? Day in, day out. So it's not going to look brand new. Don't expect it to look brand new. But it should be maintained. Look on the regulators. There should be like a little sleeve that says the date and the tub that has been inspected. Or at least you should be able to ask for that. Um, at Emerald Coast Scuba, I can go up to uh, Mark or Ann or any of those and say, Hey, look, I'd like to see the inspection dates for this regulator. They have a clipboard. There it is. That's when it was inspected last. Now, like I said, they're dove every single day mouthpiece you want to make sure the mouthpiece is in good working order and it's not going to come out on you whenever you go underwater um masks masks are good and clear honestly you should have your own mask you should have from your training your own mask fins and snorkel okay so number two travel Lugging this stuff around is ridiculous. I mean, you already got to pay for weighted bags. You get one free check-on bag or maybe two. Now, what Tammy and I do is we have our own regulators. And when we travel on the plane, we have a regulator bag. Actually, it's a big laptop bag. It's a big laptop bag. And it has our regulators in it. Now, what we do with that bag is we put our regulators in that one and we have a travel bag that we take with us. Those are just in case for underwear and stuff like that and things in case they get lost. That is another reason why you want to rent gear. Whenever you're traveling, if you have to make more than three stops, if you have to make more than one, but if you have to make more than three stops, it might get lost and then that crap gets lost. That's it. You're messed up. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's thousands of dollars. If you have a half and half kit, what I mean is you have regulators, but no BCD. What you want to do is call ahead to where you're diving to make sure your regulators and BCD, your regulators fit that BCD or your BCD fits that regulate those regulators. A lot of places, what we'll do is we travel, we'll take the regulators with us, the computers with us. So that way, We'll take those computers with us so that way we have our gear in our hands but you know the bcd we can pretty much learn on the fly the trick is i have air source too tammy has air source too we have to make sure that we have a set of regulators like so it's ready to go those i can throw on any play any any gear anytime anywhere and that's exactly what you want if you want to have rental gear. If you're going to half and half, you want to make sure that you have universal equipment. That's the reasons why you would you would rent gear. Any other reasons? 
comment, like, subscribe, tell me below. So we'll start a conversation. Help the new divers out. Help them out. Put some comments down there. The, hey, maybe you ought to do this, or hey, you ought to check this. Anybody want to comment on any of the stuff behind me? I'm glad to check it off. Scoop diving on a budget, guys. Just keep scoop diving. I hope you hit the like and subscribe button. I hope you enjoy what I'm doing. Destin, Memorial Day weekend. You know I want you there.